Hi friends, what is a strong number? Here is a number 145, is 3 digits. Let us take the factorial of each digit of this number. Factorial of 1 is 1, factorial of 4 is 4 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 1 is 24, factorial of 5 is 5 multiplied by 4, 3, 2, 1, it is 120. When you add up these 3, it becomes 145 again. This is same as the input number. So, 145 is a strong number. We will code it or we will check a input number is a strong number or not. We will divide this in three parts. In the part one, we will get the first create a function to get the factorial of a number and the second part will collect all the digits of the number and in the third part, we will find the sum of the factorial of digit and then compare it to declare it is a strong number or not. Let us start with the function declaration first. We will declare a function, my uh, sorry, we will say my factorial. We will take a input number n. So, whatever we give the input, it factorial will come. So, we will declare one variable b 1, it will be using for multiplying. For i in range, let us say 1, starting from 1 till n plus 1, because range will stop one number before. So, we do not want it to stop and it should include the number itself, so itself in multiplication. So, we are gone n plus 1. So, n is 5, so and then it will start from 1 to 6, because 5 is also included. Now, we will say b equal to b multiplied by i. Now, we will return it, return b, fine. We just check it once. So, let us say print my factorial, let us say 5. Mm. It is 120. Okay, this is working, but this is not the purpose of our uh, script here. You can watch our uh, video tutorial on how we can get a factorial of number using recursion or for loop, all the things the details are available in the description. Now, we will come to collect a input from the user. Let us say a equal to input, we will ask the user to enter a number, fine and then we will loop it through. Note that all the inputs by default are string, they are not integers, even though the user enters a number also, it is it's not a uh, integer, it is a string only. So, we can loop through it for i in range 0 starting from 0, then len a. Len function will return the number of digits available in the uh, variable. So, it is a string, so we can apply it. So, we, we will use it. So, starting from 0, till 4 or whatever the length of the input number I have used. So, I will loop it through. Let us for our testing, we will print once. What I am printing? I am printing a i. I will start from 0, 1, 2, 3 like this. So, this should, let us check it once. Enter a number, say I am 647. So, it should print 647. Fine, it is printing because I have not given any uh, excluded the line breaks, but this is not what the purpose of it. The purpose is will not reprint it. What you will do? We'll take the sum of the factorials of it. So we'll remove this line. Before that, we'll initialize the sum equal to let's say zero. Then we'll say sum equal to sum plus. Uh, we'll say my factorial. We'll take it. my factorial. Now, the as a, what you will pass it, will pass the input to that. So, we will say a bracket i, but note that what we are passing is, is not, it is a string, it is a character, it is not a integer. So, we will convert it by using integer, because user input is a string and each digit whatever we expect it to be a digit and that is a character of in a character format. So, we have converted into integer and we pass this factorial factorial is our function name. Let me just compare it here yeah. factorial is there. So, the sum is coming out. Now, what we will do? We will uh, compare this sum with our a. So, we will say if the sum equal to 
A is the input number at line number 6 you can see. But note that we can't compare it as, as it is because A is a string. So, we have to convert it into a integer and then compare it with its uh, sum. Then we will say print uh, this is a strong number because this comparison is same. Now, we will for reference we will print the value again fine. So, else. So, it is not matching what we will say print you can change to text to anything this is not a strong number you say whatever you want sorry it should not be here ok I am giving it fine let us check it once ok say 167 sorry I have to focus it 167 this is not a strong number it is here I have written string ok this is not this is not a uh, strong number fine let us run one more we will give 145 which we know it is a strong number this is a strong number one more we will check it that uh, let us say run it again 40585 this is a strong number you may ask me that how i know that this 40585 is a strong number okay we will try now that list all the strong numbers between a range copy the same code we'll paste it here we'll change this code now now we'll be uh, over a range we'll be displaying what are the strong numbers so we don't require the user input now we'll change this user input and in that place we will write for a in range starting from say 10 we will start from a two digit number and let us say up to 200 we can further extend it. So, I will write it here change this range. So, you can further extend it to there. Note that whatever the a value we have used inside this is all uh, we are consider it as a string and used it. So, what happened now if you start using it there will be error because len a all those things will come up. So, what you will do will take one string version of it a 1 is str a. Now, because it is inside, inside the loop. So, uh, I had maintained the indent also wait this all the indentation will go move one step more now else part is not required because we many numbers would not be a strong number. So, few will be a strong number. So, it will clutter now let us move up a bit fine for a in range 10 to 200 sum equal to 0 a 1 is STRA. So, a 1 is the string version of the number now. Now, here we will say a 1 because it is uh, we will take it now some my factorial in a this should be a 1 because the string part of it. Now, if some int a because already a we are taking now here it is no more integer conversion again is required if it is equal to a then this is a strong number. So, the strong number whichever is equal it will print it that is all let us uh, check once how far it working yeah, let us see this is a strong number. So, 145 is the only strong number up to the range of 200. Now, let us change this to let us make it 10,000 sorry it is 1000 one more 10,000 let us run this and see how many strong numbers sorry 145 only one more 0 let us see how long how many are there yeah 40585 this is one more strong number the range you can keep on changing to get more strong numbers.